Hey guys, this is Ellie with your weekend reading for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 15th, 16th and 17th of January 2016. I've chosen one card for the overall tone of this weekend, one for your challenge and what may be coming up, one for the help available for you or which way to go, and then one for your outcome. I've chosen one of the tarot and then one of the angel messages cards as well. So to start off with going through to the weekend, we have a very fired up air sign who has an idea that they are going for it. and they are now this can be seen as a couple of ways you have an idea and you're just going to go for it you are not listening to anybody else and you're just going for it this is a, a overbearing uh, over emotional um distraught um determined this is um perhaps even unstable uh, it could be that you're obsessed or that you, this air sign, or, or that you're obsessed about this air sign. Um, and so you're, you're, or maybe you've gotten, uh, heard some gossip or um, I, I see someone who's so angry and they're just going to go in there and rip it, rip, rip the whole place apart. And then they come back and they go, oh, what if I was wrong? So this is one scenario the other scenario is that you are um intellectually so overwhelmed that you're uh fired up and you're hitting out at all the people around you because this is a knight so he has learnt and he's putting that into practice that's what knights do the pages they're still learning the knight has already learned and he's putting into practice what he's learned so in a love relationship you need to go slow if you've met someone that you uh, air sign um it could be that you're the air sign or that you've met an air sign and you you feel like this is really wonderful um they're giving you butterflies and you're feeling really strong uh, a very strong attraction a very strong pull to this person person um don't go overboard and ruin it by by texting them a million times or if you are in a love relationship and you suspect something or you've gone through their phone and you see something it's almost like you've got this much of the information and you turn that much into this much the angel card that came with that is archangel uriel who's telling you that emotionally you're going to be fired up and through this um exchange that you're going to be uh releasing releasing in tears uh, and, and in anger um i feel like this might have something to do with the fire sign as well but through this there is lessons to be learned and there will be moving on and your heart will start to heal so emotions will be healing after the eruption um and that you will learn from this lesson now this is to do with work this could be that you've got a tyrant as a boss or that you're the tyrant at work um someone is bossing around someone's being um unstable at home this is about taking charge at home this is about setting example at home there is five messages around this so this could be you in charge of five people or there's five people in the home or this could be you at work with five people or this could be the the five could be five different messages because they're birds and i always see those as messages so there's there's five separate messages flying around so maybe you um have been uh, thinking about this before or this has been a situation a habitual response that you've had before in the past what is your challenge well your challenge is to have strength and to have courage and to go through any karmic lessons or any karmic debts that you have and for you to be able to face your fears for you to be able to meet those challenges with strength and courage and no matter what happens you will make it through the angel card that came with that is crystal and she's telling you to have faith and hope because you don't know all the information you don't know what's going on behind the scenes the universe has a plan for you and sometimes when you think you've missed out on something you haven't missed out on something because they have held you back for just the right time just the right person who's coming in now i'd also like to bring your attention back to the eclipses of last year i feel like this could be stemming from back there and I feel like this is Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. So being that this is a Mercury retrograde, you could be revisiting the past from, say, September, October of November of last year. And that's coming back in this weekend for you. This is fire signs, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. This is, um, in a love sense, um, if, see, if this is about a new love, 
The challenge is to just let it be a new love. Let it spring gently. Let it um, nourish, uh, nurture, and organically grow. Don't try and force it. If you come on too strong too quickly, uh, you're just going to you know overshadow it's not going to bloom if this is in a work sense you're new or you're you've got a great idea you've got a uh, you know you want to launch something or you want to you know further your career or you want to progress but you can't go you know beating it you've got to do it softly slowly and um the process has to be this so your challenge is for you to take your time prioritize have the courage and the strength to realize that things take time and to understand that things happen for a reason. So Crystal's saying have faith and hope because there's something positive in you on the horizon that you can't see yet. So you just have to have faith. That's your, that's your challenge this weekend is to have faith that things will work out and that things do happen for a reason and that the process will happen as it's meant to. Help that's available to you. Well, the angel card is telling you to manifest, visualize, or get to a water sign. I feel like this is a water sign, Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or Cancer. Now, Francesca is telling you that by the full moon uh, that you should be uh, well on track. Now, maybe you need to relook at something. Maybe you need to go back to the drawing board because this is creativity. She's drawing and maybe she's telling you to go back to the drawing board, go back to the blueprints, go back to the start. Um, be careful whose advice you, you take. There is a chameleon attached to this plant, and this chameleon is interchangeable. So they could be working on both sides of this. So whatever the scenario is, there's a chameleon who's sitting on the fence who's feeding information to both parties. So beware of that. For some of you, this is about a health issue. And they're telling you that there's two ways that you can go. Both of them will be um, fine, but that you're not to settle for what's being forced on you. Seek and, and go deeper. Uh, manifest and uh, what you see is what will be. What you What is above is below. So manifest, research, get creative, look online. There's, there's another... Um, there's another avenue for you, okay? Um, to do with uh, work, this is a uh, Ace of Swords, which is Air Sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And this is about putting that idea into action. So if we're going back to a work sense where you've got this idea and you're just going for it, the help is available to you is that another air sign um, is possibly the same one, is going to help you. You could team up. Uh, you could be 